I greet you in Jesus' precious name. It's just so good to be with you again. I want to leave you with something that you could maybe chew over for the next few hours. Listen to this. For as a man is, so is his strength. Judges chapter 8, verse 21. It's the story of Gideon. Gideon was a man that uh, the angel of the Lord visited, and he called him a mighty man of valor. Now, poor old Gideon at the, at the time was hiding from the Midianites, which were the enemy of Israel in those days. So much so, he was a farmer, just like us, that he was trying to thrash his wheat in a wine press. Now, in those days, a wine press would have been like a big vat. And he was in there trying to beat all the chaff and all the, the, the foreign matter off his wheat so that he could get the wheat to eat. Now, folks, you know that. You don't have to be a farmer. You don't thrash wheat in a wine press. You thrash wheat on the top of a mountain where there's a flat area. You lay your wheat down and you beat it with sticks and the wind takes the chaff and all the husks and blows them away so that you've got pure grain. But he was doing that in the wine press because he was afraid of the enemy. Well, the, the angel of the Lord visited him and called him a mighty man of valor. And he said, look, why are there no more miracles like there used to be with my forefathers? When the, uh, when the Lord took the Israelites out of Egypt from slavery and opened the Red Sea and performed all kinds of miracles, he was very upset. He says, I'm a man of um, no ability. I come from the smallest clan in one of the smallest tribes, the tribe of Manasseh. But the angel of the Lord said, but the Lord will be with you. And of course, a sign was shown. Gideon prepared a beautiful meal for the angel. He put it on a rock. The angel took a stick. He touched the rock. The rock burst into flames and consumed the whole offering. And he knew by that sign that God was with him. Folks, just to tell you the story. 32,000 men, fighting men, came to join Gideon to defeat the enemy. And the Lord told Gideon that it, it, there were too many. 22,000 left because they were afraid. Then there was 10,000 left. The Lord said to him, still, there are too many. Then another 9,700 left and there were 300 men left. And those were the men that Gideon used to defeat the entire Midian nation. Now he caught two kings. And I want to just read this to you. It's in Judges chapter 8. And let's just go to verse 19. Then he said, he's asking the two kings that he caught about the men that they killed, his men. And then he said to them, they were my brothers, the sons of my mother. And as the Lord lives... If you had let them live, I would not kill you. And then in verse 20, he turns around to his oldest son, Gideon, and he, uh, uh, Gideon's oldest son, and he says to Jetha, his firstborn, rise up and kill these two kings. But the youth would not draw his sword, for he was afraid, because he was still a youth. Then the two kings said, rise up, yourself and kill us. Now listen to this. For as a man is, so is his strength. Gideon rose up and he, and he killed them both. Folks, I want to say to you, you will be as strong as the amount of time you spend with God. Gideon knew who he was in the Lord and that's why he had no compunction and he killed those two kings immediately. His son couldn't do it because he did not have the confidence and the anointing of God on his life. Spend time with God, and you will receive strength that will see you through the day. So as a man is, so is his strength. Until next time, goodbye. We trust that you have been blessed by today's message. For more information, please visit angusbucken.com.